Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another makeup haul video. And today, I'm mix ko na lang yung drugstore and high end. Don't worry, this video is not going to be a million years long because hindi na mas try on haul. Dun tayo na tatagalan talaga. So if you guys are curious kung ano yung mga nabili ko lately, then keep on watching. Uunahin ko muna yung mga pinamili ko from Wet n Wild. I bought two palettes and two highlighters. So I'm going to start with the palettes first. This looks really, really promising and it looks really, really beautiful. This one is called Not a Basic Peach and this is how it looks like. And then this one, binili ko din kasi gusto ko siyang i-compare sa Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. This is called Rose in the Air. And as you can see, yung tone niya talaga parang Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ganito yung mukha ng Not a Basic Peach. Hindi ko na kayo bibigyan ng thorough review kasi gagawan ko naman siya ng first impressions. Ang nakaganda lang talaga nito, meron na siya mga matte shades for transition. Kasi yung Comfort Zone palette nila before, I have it here. Yung parang old formula nila. Ang problema nun, lahat may sheen. So, if you want pang transition shade na matte, wala talagang matte doon. So, minimix ko siya with my other palettes. Pero, yeah, I'm gonna give you a swatch dito sa matte color. Oh, in fairness, in fairness, in fairness naman. And then, next color that I'm gonna swatch, itatry natin to. Itong may shimmer shade. Wow, it's so pretty. And then, next color, itatry natin tong blue. Itong blue, hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented. Yeah, hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented yung blue. Itong isa, hindi ko na siya isa swatch. I'm gonna do a comparison video of both. Or hindi naman siguro siya separate na itong dalawa lang talaga. Baka gagamitin ko siya like first impressions and then isingit ko yung comparison nilang dalawa. Itong highlighter na to, ito yung nagpatibok sa puso ko nung nakita ko siya sa Rite Aid. As in, bum 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 gumagano talaga yung heart ko. Kasi limited edition to. So akala ko, oh my gosh, uh, hindi na siya limited edition kasi binalik nila. And nakita ko dito si sticker, limited edition pa rin siya. So I'm not sure if you can get your hands on this one. Ito kasi yung nakikita ko parati sa mga YouTubers dati. Because every time I go to Rite Aid, Walmart, or kahit saan, hinahanap ko talaga to. Kasi sabi nila, dupe daw to sa Charlotte Tilbury na gold bar. And this is Gold Bar din, Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar and Honey Gold Head. And yeah, sayang kasi limited edition siya. I hope makakuha pa kayo nito. And ganito siya guys, meron siyang star dyan. Ganyan siya. I know hindi nyo nakikita masyado sa swatch, but I love the texture of this highlighter. It's super duper soft. As in, iba siya ng texture dito sa Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. Hold on, swatch ko lang to para ma-feel ko ulit kasi ayokong magkamali. Yeah, this one has a different texture. Yeah. Pinakita ko lang to sa inyo kasi nakabili ako ng isa sister niya. It's called Golden Flower Crown and this is how it looks like. So this is um, Precious Petals and this is Golden Flower Crown and kung titingnan ko siya talaga, ito parang rose gold na gold. Rose gold na gold? And this one is like parang gold na gold na yellowy gold if yeah, naintindihan nyo naman, no? Yellowy gold. Pasensya na. Sometimes yung mga description ko out of this world, pero I'm trying my best here, beshies. So, yun yung mga binili ko from Wet n Wild. I bought two foundations too, and pasensya na hindi ko na-include yung Physician's Formula. So, I'm gonna go back to Rite Aid kasi alam ko marami sa inyo nag-request talaga at inang DM sa akin. Meron nga sa inyo nag-email talaga sa akin, ate, please. I'm begging you to review the Physician's Formula na foundation. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. So, I bought two foundations, and itong isa, Neri request nyo talaga. So this one is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation, like 24 hour foundation, and this is how it looks like. I'm just not sure if this is the perfect shade for me. Ang binili ko is 120 Classic Ivory. So I'm gonna do a first impressions review on this one soon. Don't worry. The next foundation that I bought is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Alam ko meron ng ganito sa Philippines, and binili ko talaga to kasi meron sa inyo na kalimutan ko lang yung name. Sis, let me know in the comment section below kung ikaw yun. Nag-send siya sa akin ng link na parang i-half and half ko daw to kay Giorgio Armani Luminous Cell Foundation. Kasi nga, parang dupe daw talaga to. And marami talaga YouTubers na nagdu-dupe na pala nito and hindi ko nakita yun before. So I'm gonna try to dupe this one or not. So I'm gonna try to do a half and half video of this L'Oreal True Match Lumi with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Cell Foundation. Kasi guys, our favorite foundation ko yun. So kung makakatipid ako, di hindi ko na siya i-repurchase. Ito na lang kasi mas mura to. Yun, I think, not sure. $62, $65. Ito, $11.99 yung bili ko nito. So, yun yung mga binili ko from Rite Aid, guys. And then, meron din akong high-end foundations na binili. Not because I needed more foundation. I actually don't need this anymore. 
Since we are talking about foundations, then I'm gonna show you yung dalawang foundations na nabili ko from Sephora. Um, yung isa binili ko online kasi wala siya sa Sephora talaga. Yung isa sa Sephora store ko nabili. So I'm gonna show you this one first. Ito yung sa store ko binili. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation and this is how it looks like. And yung shade na kinuha ko is 1C1 Shell. I'm really not sure if this is the perfect shade for me pero sabi nung babae sa Sephora na ito daw yung shade ko. So tingnan natin. Kasi dito naman sa States guys, um, hindi ako nag-worry every time bumibili ako ng foundation, especially kung like sa Sephora or Ulta, kasi pwede ko siyang i-return kung example, hindi bagay sa akin or parang hindi nag-work sa akin or hindi tama yung shade sa akin, pwede ko siyang papalitan. So, I cannot wait to try this one out kasi I've heard amazing things. Hopefully, hindi siya ganun kamat sa akin kasi I have dry skin. So, hopefully, okay naman siya sa dry skin ko. etong next foundation, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Matagal ko na siyang gustong balhin. As in, nasa Pilipinas pa talaga ako kasi sabi niya, nagpabili yata siya sa friend niya sa Japan. I'm talking about my friend named yung addict sa makeup, yung nag-influence sa akin sa makeup. Sabi niya, parang i-try ko daw to kasi maganda daw sa skin. This is the Kojan Do Aqua Foundation. I'm not sure kung magkano to sa Philippines. Nakita ko na to sa Pilipinas. Meron talaga. Nakita ko to sa mall. Nakalimutan ko yung store. Pero nasa Pilipinas to guys. Again, Kojan Do Aqua Foundation. And yung shade na kinuha ko is 213. Again, I'm not sure about my shade. Pero sobrang okay daw to talaga for dry skin girls. And maganda daw siya sa skin. Like skin-like. And again, pag sinabi mo skin-like, your skin but better look, sign me up. I'm just not sure kung paano siya i-pronounce. Kojan Do or Kojan Do. Try ko nga yung mahal na powder. Tingnan natin kung meron bang difference sa iba kong mga powders na drugstore na maganda. So, nag-research ako, nagbabasa ako ng mga vlogs. Kasi mas gusto ko din sometimes magbasa ng vlogs. And then, nakita ko sa YouTube. Tapos sabi nila, best powder daw to. So, I bought the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact. Kasi ito yung parang partner dun sa ano, dun sa foundation na Luminous Silk. So, ito yung binili ko. And this is in the shade number 4. And nakita ko to kay Jaclyn Hill before. And sabi niya, the best powder ever. So, so ito na siya guys. And this is how it looks like. Hindi ko pa to nagamit. As in, hindi pa talaga. And ganyan siya. Meron siyang mirror. I'm not sure kung meron tong sponge. Yeah, meron siyang konting puff dito. Black and white. I cannot wait to try this one out and balitaan ko kayo. Gusto ko lang talaga siyang i-try kasi para makahanap din ako ng drugstore alternative para sa inyo na ayaw bumili ng mga high-end na makeup. And meron akong dalawang lipstick na binili. This one is the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte. Yeah, matte liquid lipstick to for Makeup Forever. And this is in the shade 103. And this is just a nude lipstick. Nakita ko to sa isang YouTuber sa Best of 2017 niya. Nakalimutan ko na yung name niya. Pero sabi niya, ito na yung Best Nude. So, binili ko siya. Again, this is in the shade 103. Hmm. This smells like... Feeling ko parang siya ng amoy dun sa Sephora lip creams. Yeah. So, this is... Ooh. Ganyan siya. Oh, it's really, really beautiful. Next lipstick that I bought is the Fenty Beauty. And hindi ko pa din to nagamit. So don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna do a first impression. I'm gonna open it for you. Ang binili ko is in the shade Single. And this is how the packaging looks like. And kung titingnan nyo talaga siya, guys, it looks really parang mabigat. Pero to be honest, it is super duper light. As in, super duper light na parang plastic talaga siya. And maganda yung swatch nito, in fairness, this is how it looks like. And alam nyo naman, ito yung mga colors na favorite ko, kaya ito yung binili ko. And meron siyang Fenty Beauty there. Hindi talaga Fenty Beauty na word. Merong FB na nakaukit dyan. And then yung shade name meron din dito sa likod. So hindi ko pa ito nagamit. I'm gonna try it soon. Pero naswatch ko na lahat ng shades sa Sephora. As in, sinwatch ko talaga sila sa kamay ko. And maganda siya na feeling talaga. It's a creamy matte finish. Before I show you the two palettes, sobrang excited akong i-share sa inyo na sobrang over-over excited talaga. So this is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow and yung name ng palette na to is Hashtag. Ito din yung binili ko guys kasi I've been hearing a lot of people talk about Violet Voss pero hindi pa ako nakatry sa shadows nila or yung palettes nila. So sabi ko, sige, itatry ko na lang yan kasi similar yung shades niya or yung shade family kay Huda Beauty and gusto ko rin matry talaga kung ano yung formula ng eyeshadows ng Violet Voss. So, this is how the palette looks like. And, ganito yung sa loob niya. Meron siyang mirror. And then, this is how the palette looks like. It looks really, really beautiful. Pero, 
meron talaga mga colors dito na sobrang pare-pareho lang sila. If you look at these three colors here, ito mas bright siya yung truth. Pero yung dalawa, medyo pareho lang talaga sila. As in, pareho lang sila tingnan. So that's it guys. Yun lang yung mga binili ko from Sephora. And then, itong dalawa talaga. Naswatch ko na tong isa. And sinwatch na rin to ng friend ko na si Grace. And sobrang, kasi meron siyang Huda Beauty. And sabi ko, Grace, I need to, I need you to swatch the Huda Beauty and the Athena palette para malaman natin kung duke ba talaga sila. And oh my gosh, I kid you not. As in, naswatch ko na feel ko, pareho lang talaga. And when you swatch it, mas pigmented pa si Athena. Itong sa Bad Habit, you can get it sa Hush. Meron silang website, but if you want na free shipping, kahit isang palette na yung bibigin mo, this one is $12. Kung gusto mo na free shipping, bilhin nyo siya sa app. Uh, i-download nyo lang yung app sa Hush sa phone nyo. And sinwatch na namin to ni Grace ng bonggang bongga. And this is how the palette looks like. It really looks like the Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna insert a clip not clip. I'm gonna insert a picture here kay Huda Beauty. And seryoso guys, even this color right here, itong parang pressed pigment, this one is even better than the pressed pigment kay Huda Beauty na palette. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. Hindi ko alam kung paano nila dinook. Pero dook talaga siya. As in... Hello, Grace. I'm I'm filming. Tapos naka speaker phone ka. Sabihin mo sa kanila kung ano mas better si Athena or si Huda Beauty. Um, si Athena. Thank you, Grace. Thank you so much. Para makita niyo kung ganon siya kapigmented. I'm gonna swatch ah. Eto mga mats mo na. This color, it's super duper soft and buttery. I'm not even joking. As in, I'm also gonna swatch these three colors. This palette naman is from Bad Habit pa rin. And by the way, Bad Habit pala yung brand nito. Bad Habit Athena palette. This one is Bad Habit Aura. Or Aura. Aura. No, Aura. And guys, this is like a dupe for the Anastasia. Hold on. I forgot the name. Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia. Anastasia Prism Palette. Yes, that's the name. And ito yung dupe siguro kasi pareho lang siya. It has a mirror and ganito yung colors niya. So yes, Prism Palette talaga ng Anastasia yung dupe nila dito. I'm gonna try to swatch this yellow shade. Hello, this. And the next is um, this color. Yung orange. Ooh. So feeling ko pareho lang talaga ito ng formula dito sa... Um, Athena, kasi bad habit din to. And then this one, naswatch ko na yung Prism Palette sa Sephora. Pero hindi ko siya binili. O, oh, pareho lang talaga. Oh my gosh! Bakit sila pareho? Kasi, sorry, sorry. Kasi ito din yung parang problema ko dun. Nung naswatch ko yung Prism Palette sa Anastasia sa Sephora, sabi ko, ba't ang crumbly ng eyeshadow na to? Tapos, pati yung pagka-crumbly, dinoop nila talaga. O, pareho lang sila ng, ang tawag dun? Yung, ang tawag dun? Lab? or iba lang yung name. Hindi ko sure. Pero yeah, I'm gonna swatch. Oh my goodness gracious! So ganyan siya. In fairness, it feels so soft, buttery, and oh my gosh! Bili na kayo, best sa bad habit. Bili na kayo. As in, bili na talaga. Pero hindi ko pa alam kung paano siya sa eyes, ha? But I'm gonna use these palettes soon. Do not worry. I have two more stuff to show you. Ito, hindi ko to binili with my own money. I got it from Octoly. And gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo. Nung nakita ko to sa Octoly, actually, ah! In-order ko siya agad kasi um, hindi naman ako bumibili ng mga mamahaling eyeliner. So, if I can get eyeliners for free, then why not? And naswatch ko na yung tatlo nito sa kamay ko and nag edit ako dun sa labas nung pagdating nito and in fairness best, hindi siya umaalis. <laughs> hindi siya natatanggal sa kamay ko. Sobrang ano siya, parang smudge proof talaga siya na eyeliner. So ito yung mga swatches ng pencil. Hindi ko siya compare sa other high-end na pencils kasi hindi naman talaga ako bumibili ng mga high-end pencils. Like yung mga pang titan ko nga dito, yung from Colourpop lang kasi yun yung mga favorite ko. And sometimes yung mga from Essence. Kasi they're very inexpensive and okay naman siya sa akin. So again, as what I said earlier, parang free naman to sa Octoly. So I ordered it para naman makatry ako ng high-end pencils. Pero so far, okay naman siya. Kasi hindi siya nagbe-bleed talaga in fairness. Ito yung last na pinadala nila sa akin. It's called the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Collection. Marami ako nakikita ang 2017 favorites na video na included itong highlighter na to um, sa collab na Nikki with Ofra. So I cannot wait to try this one out. I'm gonna open it for you now. Wait lang. Hindi siya na-open kasi <laughs> meron siyang sticker. 
Ah, wala pa I cannot wait to use this on my face. And ito kasi yung favorite ko. Like, one of the best highlighters na try ko. This is in Ofra. No, in Ofra. This is still from Ofra. And it's called Blissful. Ganyan siya, guys. As in, feeling ko na-include ko to sa 2017 favorites ko. I'm not sure, pero feeling ko na-include ko talaga siya. It looks really nice on the cheeks. It's what I have on now. Iba din yung formula ng Ofra highlighters. In fairness, maganda sila. As in, oh my gosh. Sobrang oh. Oh, best. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna use this brush from Morphe. Use my code Charm. Joke lang. Gusto ko mag-add ng bling bling sa face ko, so I'm gonna mix both colors today. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy guacamole! Oh my goodness! Ito yung tipong highlighter na pag nag-brown out, pwede ikaw yung maging kandila kasi nakikita ka. Kasi sobrang beaming niya talaga as in. This is the Swatch of Nude Potion. Ito lang yung feeling ko hindi ko magagamit talaga. This is in the shade Coven. I'm gonna give you a swatch. Hold on. Dito na lang. If you like metallic liquid lipsticks, feeling ko may enjoy nyo to. Kasi maganda yung formula ng Ofra. Pero para sa akin, hindi ko to magagamit. Kasi hindi naman ako nagme-metallic. Itong last shade is called Spell. And it's still a metallic lipstick. And yun, hindi ko magagamit tong dalawa talaga. So feeling ko ang magagamit ko, this one lang yung nude potion. So that is it for my makeup haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye! With you